Picked up some Graham's Spring and Follower combos. Boy, if I can hold it. Graham's. Now this is what Atlas Gunworks recommends for their uh, magazines. And they also recommend that you replace them in their magazines, I think twice a year. Keep your springs fresh. So I ordered 10. I have six uh, magazines. Uh, no, how many I order? Two, four, six, eight, yeah, ten. So I got some extras. But what I decided to do, this is also an STI tube um, that I'm going to try to tune myself. Now there's several things you have to do. You got to pound on it <laughs> so that it you 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 uh, you get it to drop free and what have you. And then you have to get the feed lips to the right specifications. Uh, any anyway, rate, figured it'd be a neat project. Can always turn them into practice max. But that's not what this is about. Federal small pistol primers. Um, man, we've all dealt with shortages in ammo and primers and powder over the years. You know, just man, it's been crazy. But what you're looking at is 20,000 <laughs> small uh, federal small match primers. Now, I have been reading on the forums about the federal primers are actually the preferred primer and it, apparently it has to do with the fact that it's a little bit softer metal and therefore the ignition is more consistent or easier um, what have you so naturally I went and started looking for them and I couldn't find them anywhere and I, I I've read on a bunch of forums and I've looked at some of the posts and they are dated back a little bit but it seems like just recently at least everywhere I have searched online that you couldn't find them and then all of a sudden I had someone leave a comment one of my videos that Cabela's had them so of course I checked Cabela's yep they got them and I checked the price on their the, the blue box which was just the standard federal primers um, is forty dollars a box and their match grade primers are $40 a box. So I don't really understand. Anyway, I started doing a little bit of research. And apparently, the difference between... And this is, this is going to make you laugh, or at least it made me laugh. The difference between the match grade uh, primers <laughs> and the regular small pistol primers is on... A particular shift these come off the exact same production line as the blue box regular pistol primers but apparently they have a, uh, a select few of seasoned highly trained uh, people that work there you know you're always going to have people that work in the factory that have more experience than other people well when those people are working the line everything that comes off that line is considered a match grade primer uh, you know, their quality assurance is just better when those particular individuals are working the line. You guys tell me if you found out otherwise, but I thought it was kind of funny when I was reading that. Apparently, there's been some some people with very credible, credible very much credible um, tell that story. And so, it sounds about right, because I don't really know what you would do to make it a match primer versus something else. But anyway... So I found these for case price, $33.60 a box, which is a good price. They had free shipping. You still had to pay your $19 hazmat fee, but basically when you, when you, um, when you divide that into 20 boxes, you get $33.60. That's delivered to the door, $33.60 a box delivered to the door. So, um, and, and the reason I basically I order that much is just to justify the hazmat fee. I, I know guys that will buy these off me for 35 bucks a box, and I don't try to make money. Um, but they'll be saving money by, you know, people, not necessarily everybody buys in bulk. I like to try to help people out, you know, if I buy in bulk or if I can buy in bulk. And, and if I can sell people primers for less than they can get them in a store, you know, that's, that's, a, that's just something that I like to do, so... Anyway, I've sold a bunch of primers uh, over the years by the box to, to people that, uh, you know, maybe need a thousand or two thousand and stuff like that. So uh, I'll probably end up using half of these. And um, if I use these just for matches, 
and I continue to use CCI. The primers are $32 a box for the CCI primers. So it's not that much a difference. But it's the federal primers that I wanted to start running in a match. And if they're the same price, you might as well use match grade primers. So that's the way I looked at it. But anyway, the 5,000 will last me. If I shoot 40 matches a year, uh, unfortunately, these are the, a case. It's only going to last me a year, so a couple years worth and a couple to hook some people up. But uh, anyway, that's the key buy in bulk. And I guess um, I guess the blue primers are back in stock, it seems like. But nowhere but it seems like Brownells and Cabela's. Like none of the other reloading outlets have any of their primers for some reason and they got tons of cci primers so there you go just a little lesson on match grade primers i mean if i had the choice of buying primers from the highest trained individuals at at this company versus just random people that maybe just got trained uh i'm going with these so uh, you know for range fodder or just practice it really probably doesn't matter um, if there was a price difference but these are these are going in these these primers are going in my match ammo assuming they run good I've already loaded a hundred rounds I'm gonna try them out on Friday but anyway I've been babbling on long enough I thought it was kind of a funny story figured I would uh, share that with you guys <laughs> and um, you guys I'll take care and be good and if you can't be good, be good at it, like Graham's Engineering and Federal Premium.